thank you very much for participating. My name is Christine Wilson. I'm the Division Director for Intergenerational Services within Atlanta County. And I'm going to turn the presentation over, over to Cindy McNillis, our Executive Director um, for the Office of Aging here within Atlanta County. Thank you. very, very much. We are so excited to be here. I can't believe it's been four years. Four years since we've been here. This will be our 44th year of doing the art show within the Division of Intergenerational Services. So I'm just overwhelmed and proud to be able to stand before you and, and say welcome again to this magnificent show. I would also, before we get started with the presentation, to thank a couple of people and organizations. First and foremost, the Division and the Department of Human Services would love to thank and, and, for the, and appreciate the hard work that the Atlantic County Ventnor Library and, and Branch Manager Jamie Vicky did, along with her staff, to make this happen. Um, they were very instrumental in assisting us to get this job done. I would also like to thank um, Sue, uh, Sue Van Dyne, who uh, runs the art studio downstairs, she was gracious enough to allow us to borrow some of the easels that your beautiful artwork happens to be displayed. So without her assistance, um, it took a team effort, and we, do, and we are a team, um, to get this show running and moving forward. I would also like to thank my, my planner, um, uh, Roberta Sincotti, for, she's outside there, and I'll explain why in a moment, for her assistance and her guidance in getting this off the ground and coming to this moment that we're all enjoying so much. So, with that said, as we call, and we will call everybody, you have a, a wonderful certificate from um, County Executive Dennis Levinson in appreciation for your hard work and what you, what you give back to this beautiful community that we live in. Um, the first place winners, if you haven't already done it, some of you have, we will ask you to go out and see Roberta. R Roberta will have your invoice that you need to sign along with your W-9 in order for us to get you your prize of $100. So that is gonna just flow when a first place winner is called. After you get your certificate, please just go out and get that taken care of. This That's is Roberta. <laughs> Hello, come see me. I'm just bringing it out here so it doesn't disrupt. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and with that said, I'm, I'm very pleased to introduce a young lady to my left. Uh, her name is uh, Catherine Aikens, and she's for the first year been our coordinator, and she's brought this show back to life. And it's been with her direction and her, her beautiful color eye in order to see what this artwork that you brought in. And she developed a show out there. And I'm not going to say too much about it because she's going to speak about it in a few moments. But I would love to share a little bit about Catherine. Um, and we would also, the Division and the Department, the Division of Intergenerational Services and the Department of Human Services would love to thank you very much for what you have done. Catherine. So Catherine is a lifelong resident of Atlantic County. She's an um, alumnus of Atlantic Cape Community College where she began to hone her skills and love of art with encouragement from the college's outstanding art professors. She has been creative her whole life and is largely self-taught using a variety of mediums including pencil, acrylic, craft, and etc. Her personal passion is mixed media. It is a whole new joy to take something discarded by many and give it a new life. <coughs> Catherine is a senior adjunct professor and has been teaching for 10 years at Atlantic Cape Community College. She has also served as the art gallery coordinator for the college for the past five years and art club advisor for two years. In her spare time, I can't imagine you actually have some. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> she works on growing her art business and leads many independent art classes and parties. Again, 
the division wants to thank everybody, all the parties involved in making this happen. And I would love to welcome to us here um, Ms. Mrs. Catherine Aiken. I've talked to all of you personally, and you're all wonderful. One on one, this is not so much fun. <laughs> we're gonna do it. Uh, but Cindy was like, "Oh, I'll share a few words." So, please, here we go. We're sharing a few. No, but I, I also want to thank Cindy. Um, it was a very unique opportunity that sprang up pretty quickly before the show began, a couple weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and we kind of readjusted schedules with the end of our semester and somehow managed to pull it all together. And I would be remiss in not thanking her for all of her help with maneuvering all the mini bumps that you know managed to pop up, but we worked through them. And I'm just so excited to be a part of this. I think this is so cool to see I work with people of all ages, and I've taught children all the way up to senior citizens as well. And it's it's really neat to me to see the art starting to come back into our area, where for a while it was really bleak. <laughs> and like I see that, like I said, with my paint parties and art classes and things like that, to start to see the color come back into life. Um, and I, I'm so honored to be able to be a part of that with you guys, and and to hear your stories, how some of the pieces are created, and some who had never created artwork before and then during COVID they started and they picked something up or those who went to a class and you know oh I, I never would have put something but putting themselves out there and starting to develop a, a new part of their identity so that's really cool to be able to be a part of and to see it come back so I just wanted to thank you guys as well for entrusting us with your work um, because I know as an artist myself when you hand your work over to someone that is truly trust so thank you for trusting us with that. And I'm so pleased for all of the, those who will be going on to um, the state level. Um, we are excited to see where that will go um, for our first place winners. And yeah, so Cindy also had said about kind of explaining how I put the show together. Um, that's hard. Because for me, it's kind of like Tetris, if you've ever seen the game Tetris. <laughs> So literally that's how I look at putting together and curating an art show and I do the same thing in art gallery at ECC. I kind of stage things and she can attest, this is what happened. I kind of stage them kind of where I think they start to fit and then start to build the picture from there and, and how colors play off of each other and shapes and different things. So that's literally how we started to build. <laughs> um, and then it just seemed to eventually fit together um, really well and, and definitely very pleased with, with how it came together but that's the fun part for me like you guys drop off the work hand it in and then I'm like okay now I get to play so that's a lot of fun so thank you for that by all means if you have any questions about the show or anything specifically that you wanted to know like about behind the scenes of what I do with it feel free to ask but that's what I have to share so thank you so Catherine and I shared, uh, we were together for about three days uh, when the artwork was, was brought in and I was just like, okay, I'll take that here. She would say, all right, let's see. She's like, tell me where to go. I know, I that's right. I'm all here, don't know yet. And it was just so much fun. And I was so, I was so happy to be here when the artwork did arrive. Uh, for those two days because I did get to see some faces that I have not seen in four years and that's been really um, really really nice for me uh, and a little bit about the state show dive into that a little bit uh, Catherine did a beautiful uh, one-page outline of what to expect in regards to drop off and pick up of the artwork for our first place winners uh, that form is out there, so for any first place winner that goes out and signs their forms with Roberta will get that. If the first place winner is not here, we will certainly make sure that they get that information. Alrighty, so how is this going to work is, put my glasses on. And my email is on that form as well, so if any of you who are moving on to the next level need to reach out, by all means use that, that way we can stay in contact. 
Oh, and I also think what's very exciting about this show is that we have professional mm -hmm. and non-professional. So everybody is judged within the, the category that's best suited for for their artwork. And I, we find you found that quite cool. Yeah. Yeah. Very neat. It, it it made a very nice level playing field, I think, for everyone to to be able to exhibit their work. That was really nice. But because we have two categories. We thought it was extremely important, and Catherine did bring this to my attention, we should have not just an overall best in show, but we should have a best in show in professional and non-professional. So that was her input, and I certainly went along with her guidance and her suggestion. So how, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to, and she should go in the order of your program. I'm going to call out um, a piece of artwork and who it belongs to, and that person, please, come up and get your certificate. I will show everybody what the certificate looks like. It's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? And I will read it. It says, on behalf of the citizens of Atlantic County, Atlantic County Executive Dennis Levinson and the Atlantic County Office on Aging proudly recognize, and that would be who it, who it is, for your participation in the 44th Annual Atlantic County Senior Citizen Art Show presented June 15, 2023. And I must, and I was remiss, not to thank Quick Copy and our printing, Atlantic County, Linda Gilmore. Thank you very, very much, because this would never happen. Your programs that you have well, it would happen, but certainly not like this. <laughs> not as beautiful as this is. Thank you. I did not thank you, and I apologize, and your staff. All right, so here we go. Best in show for non professional. Linda Weisbecker, Morning Evolution in the category of a prayer. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to move into mixed media. And our first place winner for mixed media is Bonnie Rand for Night Owl. Hi, Bonnie. Thank you. You're welcome. Second place winner in mixed media is Deb Mento for I Am More Than Just Pink. In non-professional, our first place winner is Edward Garvey for Lake Como, Italy. Oh. Edward, Edward. Did you sign your paper already? No, I didn't. Oh, we, I'm afraid I arrived late. That's quite all right. Would you? Why don't you mosey on out there and see Roberta, and she'll help you out with your paperwork. I've been okay, forgetting good. to okay. say that all along here. Okay. Oh, we'll play catch up as we move along. Our second place winner in oil is Ray Rennie for Playground of the Past. Congratulations. Our third place winner is Linda Coleman for Niagara Falls from the Rainbow Bridge. Congratulations. Moving into photography in non-professional. We have Jim Monroe for honorable mention, baskets and flowers. Moving into watercolor for non-professional, our first place winner is Barbara Livey for Untitled. Is Barbara with us? No. Okay. Thank you, Christine. For watercolor, our second place winner is Alana DeFrisco for Potter's Shed. Is Alana with us? No. Okay. Husband. Husband. Our third place winner in watercolor is Donna Larkin. Elephant Ride Smith, I'm sorry, Elephant Ride Smithville Carousel. Are you with us, Donna? In watercolor, our honorable mention goes to Bernice Gelfont for Stroll in the Sunset. In watercolor, we we have Mary Jane Green for best friends. Mary Jane, there you are. In watercolor, we have Philip Mappin for the Lion and the Lamb Inn. Is Philip with us? Okay. Watercolor, we have Joan Power. For young Afghan girl, is Joan with us? No, okay. Moving into works on paper in the non-professional category, we have for first place Edward Sperling for elephant. Edward. Edward, if you haven't signed your papers, we'll certainly bring them to you. Okay. We'll take care of them. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll catch up with you later. Now we're moving on into the professional category. In the, uh, pro yeah, professional level in the category of acrylics. And our first place winner is Susan Erlin for Koi. And there's Susan. In the professional level, our first place winner goes to Joyce Hagen for Shimmering Silver. Now we're moving on into the oil category in professional. Our first place winner is Brenda Cassell. More, 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 call me Bridge. Okay. Oil 
Coyle. Second place winner is Bonnie Cavalier for Barnegat Bay Boating. Moving on into pastel in the professional level, our first place winner is Janet Gabriel, After the Storm. Janet? Hi, Janet. First place winner in the category of photography is Dennis Laughlin for A Dragon. Marlene Armstrong for Monarch on Mom. Congratulations, In the category of sculpture, our first place winner is Eleanor McKelvey for Brigantine Lighthouse. Evelyn, uh, Eleanor, I'm sorry. Oh, Eleanor. Oh, thank you. That way you can move on to the first and they'll get your information. And in the category of watercolor, our first place winner in professional is Kathleen Arlet, Winter Walk in Old City. So we had 33 entries and I think after four years, this is a great, great start, right, to a new chapter as we as we move forward. Does anybody have any questions um, for me or for, for my team in regards to, to the art show and what we've done here? It's just really nice to see everybody, but I, I would love to hear from you. Anything you'd like to share? Okay. Well, you know where to find me. I know you do. So if you need to think of something that you would like to share, talk about, I am, I am available at all times. Um, so this has been a wonderful, wonderful showing, a wonderful opportunity. Um, and I, I, anything else that we would like to say? I think we're good. Okay. Well,